Hey, what's up everybody? It's your girl Chrissy M and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be checking out the new Milani Cream to Powder Foundation. We want to see if this is really a dupe for the KVD Good Apple Foundation. Let's go ahead and get into this video. Life is what you make it. Life should been amazing. I can't see a way out. I've been stacking face down off canvases. I painted. I just spent the rain day on shit I can't afford. Now, I've already done a review on the KVD Good Apple Foundation, you guys. I will tag the card up here if you want to check it out. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with a Fenty Beauty. This is their Pro Filter Matte Primer. All right, so before we get back into the Milani Foundation, I wanted to talk a little bit more about the KVD Foundation. So the shade that I did do have in this one is the 074, if you guys can see that. You guys, my camera is acting so weird. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fix the settings on it. But yeah, so I have the 074 in the KVD foundation. Now this foundation is a cream foundation. It's very creamy, it's oily. It's definitely meant for dry or dry to combination skin. Now I'm looking on the website and the website does say that it is a lightweight full coverage with a fresh matte finish. So fresh matte meaning that it's not flat, it's not dewy, it's just the right it's just the right formula for more of a natural finish, okay? So for me, the Good Apple Foundation, I mean, it looks nice going on. It definitely gives a full coverage vibe. It's a really good foundation. The only thing is that I have oily skin and throughout my day, you can see the oil is poking through. It just isn't for my skin type. But if you are someone who has more of a dry skin, this could be great for you. The oils will look good for you. But the oils for my skin tone is not good because then it creates, you know, acne and little bumps on my face. And we just cannot be having that. So, okay, so the Milani, this is their cream to powder foundation. This comes in 22 shades, okay? So it pretty much is going to glide on to a cream and then it forms into a powder base. This is more of a buildable foundation, so it's not full coverage. No, no, no. The website also states that this is actually a soft matte foundation and it's supposed to last for up to 16 hours. Also, that this is a long wear formula that is sweat proof and it's also waterproof. I don't know from the reviews that I've been seeing, I've been seeing a lot of mix, but it does have an almost five star, you know, review um, on their website. So let's go ahead and give this a try, you guys. Okay, so the consistency of this is actually, like, it's, like it says, it's a more of a cream um, base. The brush that I'm using is the It Cosmetics Air Airbrush Foundation Brush. Um, this is number 108. And I'm just going to apply this to my face. You guys, my camera is off a little bit, so if the shade looks off on camera or on... If the shade looks off for you, it's definitely not off. It actually matches. It's just my camera settings for something is going on with it, so... But it glides on really, really nicely, especially with this brush. And I'm not seeing, like, any separation or anything by using this brush. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and add one more coat of the foundation to my face and like I said, it's coming on really nicely, it's really smooth. Um, I'm using a brush instead of a beauty, blend, beauty blender because I just really want a nice smooth application and it looks really good going on and this is one of my favorite brushes by the way, so. Um, hopefully the camera is better for you guys. I played around with my settings before I popped back on here so hopefully it's not too bad. <laughs> like what is going on with this camera? Okay. All right, you guys, so this is me outside with the actual foundation applied to my face. Hopefully the lighting is a little bit better with my camera, but I'm gonna go out and do run some errands and I'm gonna give you guys a wear test so that way you're able to see it throwing my mask and everything. So I will catch you guys later. All right, you guys, so it is the end of the night. It's actually going on 11 o'clock and I wanted to give you guys an update for the Milani, their cream to powder foundation. This is my skin, <clears throat> excuse me, afterwards. This is my skin pretty much by the end of the night and what it looks like the foundation itself. So for me, I feel as if it's hard to separate around this area here. Um, maybe along this way here. I can see like a little bit of a separation. I did have my mask on while I was out as well. So that also took effect of why it's kind of like eh, right now. <laughs> But that's pretty much what it's looking like, you guys. My face is oily. I have oily skin, so I think the foundation is okay. 
If it was for me, I wouldn't wear it every single day. It is a great foundation for someone who just has really, really great skin, who just wants to put like a light little, you know, coating over their skin and do like a nice natural look. But for me personally, that's not the type of foundation that I would want because I do have oily skin. I would like a more of a found, uh, full coverage foundation, um, more like a matte foundation for my skin type, but it's not bad at all. It's not definitely not bad. And my face isn't as oily as it was when I wore the KVD foundation. So if you are new to my channel, you're just now seeing this. Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Christy M. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you are notified when I do upload new videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, loves. <laughs>